In this section, we will install the car's lower platform, which will serve as the foundation for mounting additional electronics. Use two M2.5 flat hat screws and nuts to attach the two tabs extending out of the back of the front foundation to the corresponding holes near the front of the back foundation. Put the 3000 mAh battery into the battery compartment on the left side of the race car chassis. Orient the battery such that the wires run towards the front of the race car chassis. This is not explicitly shown in the video because it has already been done so. the two holes in the middle of the metal crossbar that came with the race car chassis. Align them with two holes in the middle of the now unified foundation. And then attach the metal crossbar to the foundation with the M2.5 flat hat screws and nuts. Depending on which type of book converter to use, take out the book converter and put it on the foundation and try to align it with the holes. Depending on which book converter, insert four hex nuts into the corresponding shafts. Although not shown in the video, if the holes for the hex nuts does not tightly fit the hex nut, then add super glue into the spaces between the edge of the hole and the hex nuts in order to keep the hex nuts in place. Be careful not to get super glue into the threads of the hex nuts. Allow the super glue to dry before continuing. Insert two M2.5 hex nuts into the inlets below the screw holes of the lower right foundation support. Align the lower right foundation support with the corresponding screw holes on the foundation and then use the M2.5 flat hat screws to secure it to the foundation. We want to do the same for the lower left foundation and for the upper left foundation.
tighten the connection between the front foundation and the back foundation as necessary. After we have done that, align the 3D printed lower crossbar support with the holes in the back of the metal crossbar and insert two M3 40mm flat hat screws through down, down through the foundation. Repeat this for the 3D printed upper crossbar support and the holes of the metal crossbar. Use zip ties slip through the gaps in the foundation to mount the vest to the mount foundation as shown. Chain zip ties together if extra strength is necessary. Make sure that the zip ties do not significantly protrude out of the top foundation. Now we will have to mount the vest to the bottom of the foundation. Place it between the lower right foundation support and the metal crossbar, such that it will be above the BLDC motor once the foundation has been mounted to the chassis. Orient it so that such the three BLDC motor connector wires run towards the back of the foundation and that the USB mini port faces towards the metal crossbar. Use the zip ties to secure the VESC battery wires and the USB mini cable to the bottom of the foundation. Mount the foundation to the rear scar to the chassis by screwing in the four M340 millimeter flat hat screws that go through the crossbar supports to the rear scar chassis. This will definitely be a tight fit due to the vest, so you have to push down. And make sure that none of the support gets caught on the wall of the chassis. This is especially for the lower right support that will almost certainly get caught. Also, make sure that none of the vest wires get caught between the foundation and the servo cage. 
Use pliers to remove the individual pins from the 3 pin mill header. Use this pin to connect the 3 pin female header of the VESC to the 3 pin female header of the server motor. Connect them such that the corresponding colors are connected together. The red connects to red, black connects to black, and brown connects to brown. We have to wrap, wrap electrical tape or duct tape around the connection between the vest and the silver motor to prevent it from disconnecting. Organize the silver motor wire into a neat bundle with a zip tie. 